Welcome to another edition of Smalltalk for you. This morning I wanted to continue with the basic usage scenario we've been outlining in Syncom Smalltalk. We're using VisualWorks, although everything I'm going to be showing you is again equivalent in either VisualWorks or Object Studio. We've done debugging, we've created a class. What we're going to do this morning is go through unit testing, which arguably we should have done sooner, but in any case, the interesting thing about Syncom Smalltalk is if you go to the Parcel Manager, you'll find that there are two unit testing frameworks. There's SUnit Tools and RBS Unit Extensions. This is the standard SUnit stuff that you'll find in any Smalltalk. This is a Syncom Smalltalk specific one. I'm going to load that simply because it's a little nicer to use from a subclassing standpoint, which I'll explain when we get there. What we're going to do now is just load it. And once it's loaded in, what we're going to do is go back to the package we've been working on. So we'll open up the browser, find CounterApp, and what we want to do is create a new class. So it might be up on, off the screen there. What I'll do is I'll pop this down from here, class, new class. I think it pops a little off the screen, but in any case, I just selected new class from that menu. And what I need to do here is create counter tests and here's the superclass thing. I'm going to say I want this to be subclassed from s unit dot test case and notice that's what I have to do s unit dot test case if you pick the other one it's something like x programming dot s unit dot test case it's a little more typing not all that relevant really but it's a little less painful to do this once I've got my class notice the little icon here is a little different than what you're used to and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a new protocol so I'm going to say testing, and now I'm going to add a test case. Now the interesting thing is once I've got a class subclassed from test case, all I need to do is say test counter app add one. So I preface my method name with the word test, and this will be run automatically by the system. So now I'm going to say, oh, well, I don't know, something like counter gets counter new. And now I need to do an assertion, self-assert counter count equals zero. There's a test case. And we'll add another test case. CTR add one. And now self assert counter count equal one. So I've added two test cases. I'll do an Apple S. I'm going to declare that as a temporary. And it looks like I mistyped, so let's go and put a T in there. And we'll hit Apple S again. And now notice down here at the bottom testing stuff turned on. So this is what happens either in this or the SUnit extensions is once you've created a valid test case in your test case class, the bottom of the browser lights up. So now I'm going to run my test and you notice green it passed. If on the other hand I had screwed this up and said equal nil, say for instance I hadn't initialized it and run it, notice what happens here, it's going to fail and turn red. So you'll get immediate feedback as to how things are running in your test case and in your class. And this is pretty much what you do. If you want to do the negative, so I want to deny, so I want to say it's not nil, I can do this. I don't have to do double negatives. I can say deny that that's the case. And while that's not a terribly useful test, that is how I do a denial. So I have a cert and I have a de deny. They answer Booleans either in the positive or the negative, and that's how you set up unit testing in Syncom Smalltalk. So it's better for today. Until next time, have fun with whatever Smalltalk you're using.